Hello everyone, it's time for Good Week Israel, where we will give you ILTV's latest positive highlights. Get ready to smile because coming up, the IDF and Israel Aerospace Industries reveal the Jaguar, a groundbreaking semi-autonomous robot. We'll learn the most effective self-defense system originating right here in Israel, and we'll check out one of the most legendary and award-winning chef restaurants in Tel Aviv. Over a month has passed since the conflict between Israel and the Hamas terror group in Gaza, a conflict largely referred to now as Israel's first war of artificial intelligence. And the bar is only getting higher, though. So against the backdrop of the war and the Israeli military's multi-year momentum program, the IDF's Gaza division is deploying a first-of-its-kind semi-autonomous robot. Say hello to the Jaguar, a groundbreaking robotic ground vehicle developed by IDF and Israel Aerospace Industries. And it serves as both a substitute for soldiers on the border and in the line of fire, and as a major advancement to the military's defense capabilities. The Momentum program is focusing on transforming the military into a high-tech force to be reckoned with. As such, the robot is rigged with dozens of sensors, an automated driving apparatus, and a public address system. It's also armed with a 7.62 millimeter mag machine gun, and it even has the ability to self-destruct should the Jaguar ever be captured by an enemy. But the real X factor of this robot lies in its semi-autonomy, with the Jaguar being able to self-drive and bypass obstacles, all while IDF soldiers maintain full operational control from afar. In a statement, the IDF saying that the Jaguar is one of the most innovative ground robots in the smart and deadly border project in the northern division of the Gaza Strip. Now, if you want to learn tactical defense techniques, then Israel is definitely the place to do it. Kapon Defense offers counterterrorism training and LTV went to go try it out. Israel is known for developing tactical defense techniques used all over the world. Due to Israel's unique security concerns, it's important to maintain a large, well-trained and vigilant security force. Just a 45-minute drive from Tel Aviv, we came to visit Kapon Defense, which offers licensed defense training for both professionals and visitors alike. Kapon Defense is staffed by some of Israel's most highly experienced and trusted defense instructors. Focus on the front side. Okay. Okay. Now, Slowly. squeeze. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. We'll fight it. <laughs> Kapon's curriculum covers everything from providing protection to VIPs to counter terror scenarios. Kapon Defense is dealing uh, mostly in training of professional organization. For instance, we are the only private company in Israel that instructs police officers in the National Police Academy. The first thing you heard me scream, Takrit. Takrit means all hell break loose. I'm going through the side. The first thing I see is civilians. I ask him, where is he, where is he? Because they are the first one who, still, who knows where is the terrorist, okay? This is called Talechima, the first point that I'm going to meet the terrorist, okay? So um, I'm being real careful, opening and see two terrorists. Bam, 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 first. Three, three, fifth shot. Visitors can experience some of the same training techniques that Kapon teaches to Israeli law enforcement and counter-terror units. So it's time for a short lesson on firearms. What we have here is actually uh, the weapon that you use, we use in the shooting class. We have this red tavo that are specialized for doing dry training, which means they are, have devices that uh, actually block them from shooting a real bullets. And we have here the, the special blue uh, Glock handgun. We call it tactical handgun. We shoot them uh, 80 meter per second paintball bullets. This black rifles, uh, we shoot them uh, the small caliber, uh, this kind of bullets. So we use them for the fundamental of teaching how to um, do safety with the rifle, how to aim with the rifle, how to shoot, how to advance. Uh, how to behave in, a, in an urban area with a rifle. So which one am I going to be using today? Okay, actually you're going to use all of them, but you know, step by step. So we will start with the safety. Safety first. Body. 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 Point. 
Point. Finger out of the trigger. Finger out. Of the out. Trigger. The point here. No, no. Take it. Yeah. Very good. Take okay. the shoulder to the front. Take the shoulder to the front. Lower the cheek. And now you see the red dot? Yes. Okay, now squeeze the trigger gently while aiming. I'm scared. Yeah. Do it. Gently Whoop. while aiming. Aim. Okay. Yeah. One. Ah! Again, again. Two. Three. Four. Finger out of the trigger. Okay. Now we want to check the weapon. We have a bullet in the chamber. The first step is take out the magazine. You take the thumb like this uh -huh. and you push it and push the button. You turn the weapon. Okay, and cock it again. Now, but look inside the carefully. Okay. The bullet comes out and you look carefully. Okay. Okay, aim again to the target and squeeze the trigger gently while aiming to the wall. Okay, now we are sure that there is no so bullet in the chamber. Okay, now we're gonna do before refiring. Okay, cocking the handgun, buddy, weapon. Bam, 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 finger out, look at the chamber, go back. Buddy, weapon. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. First cock it a couple of times. Put your finger out when you cock it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. You're real good. Yeah. Smamash. <laughs> Kaka. Okay. It's harder than uh, for It is harder. I've never done this yeah. in my life. Yeah. Buddy! Weapon! Focus on the front side. Finger in. Finger in. Hard part. Okay. And go back. All right, now with bullets. Now with bullets. Now with bullets. Buddy, weapon. Focus on the front side. Go to the hard part of the trigger and squeeze. All right. Now I got clear. it. Yeah, it's on the target. Okay, on I don't the even target. See it. But sometimes it's when you're unarmed that you find yourself facing an armed attacker. Kapon Defense also offers training in Krav Maga, the most effective self-defense system originating from right here in Israel. Meet Ophir, Capone's certified Krav Maga instructor. Today he's going to teach me a thing or two about the hand-to-hand -hand combat. His main idea of Krav Maga is that we use the basic instincts of our body. What we're going to do today is how to stop a knife. Somebody wants to stab you, you want to stop it. Okay. You good. try, and I stop. My watch against your watch. Mm -hmm. In the same time, I want a 120 degrees angle on my elbow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to lean my lower body backwards. Now this has to be super quick. Of course. Because if someone's coming to stab you, it's not going to be like, hey. Yeah, it's going to be very quick. <laughs> and from here, I'm going to grab it. Okay. Okay? So, after I stop the knife and I take my lower body backwards, I go in inside with strikes okay, towards the, the face, arm. I grab the arm. From here, I'm going to use my knee inside uh -huh. your stomach, okay. your ribs uh -huh. and your face. And I have no control. You cause can't because I'm grabbing the arm. Okay. Whew, okay. This is really a workout. Okay. It's not a workout yet. <laughs> For me it is. One, two, bam, bam, yeah. bam. Thanks. Now we're going to try to stop somebody who tried to stab your neck. Okay? So, what is your instinct? To what? run away. Oh, to run away. From what I'm doing, you saw that was your instinct. Yeah. Without thinking about it, your hand wants to rise up. So in Krav Maga, we're using those instincts. So when you're going to stab me, like this hold and try to stab my neck again I'm gonna use you try boom I'm gonna st stop again, again. wrist, wrist yeah. to wrist mm -hmm. the other hand try to go towards your face mm -hmm. take your eyes out break, break your nose, nose and grab the arm and then the, the knife falls sometimes it will sometimes it won't if you're gonna cut a little bit my back it's okay I'm gonna come back home but from here, I'm going to break each and every part of your body. Can okay? you it back? And I'm going to push it away like before. And oh. knees, okay. knees. Bam! Hip! Uh. Boom! 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 <laughs> Krav Maga is very big. And to learn it, it's an experience that you have to try to do it. And I hope 
that you got something out of this uh, small lift. I definitely did, but I remember that the number one rule is to always run away, try to get out of the situation. If you can, the main idea is to stay alive. Woo. All right. Moving on, ILTV's Emmanuel Kadosh returning with SR Cosmetics and their latest and greatest line in skincare products. Hi everyone, welcome back. We are here to talk about SR Cosmetics' most recent line, which is the Evercure line, which is inspired by the Amazons. We have here three products that we are going to get into details about and show you what they look like and what they feel like on my skin. The first one here is an eye cream. We also have a retinol serum and then a scar curing cream that you are using with the micro needle system. So let's get started. Actually, what the scar cure does, it just flatten out and even out all the texture of your skin and peels away the excess uh, scar tissue. So this retinol is capsulated, so your skin gets exactly what it needs in each and every area. The thing you're gonna put around your eyes, the eye cure, and this is amazing because it reduces puffiness in a minute and it relaxes the skin and the body. It's really, really nice. And now for more on the Evercure line by SR Cosmetics, the one and only Emmanuel Kadosh takes it away. Thank you, Aaron. I am joined once again by Galia from SR Cosmetics. How are you? Hi, always a pleasure being here with you. It's always a pleasure to have you here. We are talking about the SR Cosmetics Evercure line. Tell me a little bit about it. I see the products are already here, ready to be spoken yeah, about. Yeah, the products, and of course they are green because in this line, we're gonna take you far away to South America to the forest of the Amazon. And you know, the Amazon area is considered to be like the nature field for cures. This is the reason that we uh, chose the name Ever Cure because it's an evergreen forest and the cure is forever good for your skin. I have personally tried these products and let me tell you, they were a game changer. Like unbelievable, the scar cream, the oh. eye cream, which was unbelievable. It literally took away all of my puffiness on my face. Yeah, it's but amazing I, I want that. you kind of, kind of to tell us a little bit about each product. So the first one that we'll talk about is the one that you tried already. Yes. The anti-puffiness and the anti-aging eye cream. Unbelievable. Okay? It's called Evercure Eye Cure. And you know, the eye area is uh, 10 times thinner than any other area in your body in terms of our skin. This is why we have to take special care of it. So this formula is presented to you especially for puffiness okay. and then dark circles. A lot of people get, you know, maybe after a night of drinking yeah. or if they're a little bit tired, you wake up and your face feels a little puffy. Like this is the Ever Cure sure. well, yeah. eye cream. I want to hear you kind of go into details about this scar cream because this changed a lot for me. You know, there's a lot of people that whether it's um, acne scars or maybe what we were talking about before, maybe surgical scars that mm -hmm. you make you a little bit insecure. And I could tell you, you know, I had acne when I was younger and scars, pigmentations, whatever it is, this cream changed things. Yeah, it is a game changer. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, take notice that all this line is really hygienic because it's airless. You use it day and night daily to get the effects and the results that you want. And? Yeah, because this is the hottest thing right now. You yeah. see this all over from a bunch of different companies, but I know that this really helps the scar cream penetrate through your skin mm -hmm. a little bit better and allows the product to kind of absorb into your skin. So exactly. tell me about this. So you take the derma roller, and you know the derma roller is good not only for scars, uh, just for rejuvenating right. your skin. Of course, uh, you can go on our website and get all the instructions that you need, how to use it, and also videos with demos that you can see. And of course, our last product in this line is the Retinol Cure, which is also amazing. You've tried it. Of course I've tried it. But tell me exactly the benefits of retinol. Okay, so retinol is a derivative of uh, vitamin A, okay? And you know, you know, retin A, and this derivative is really effective, but it's not effective in any way that your skin can process it. Okay. This is why this retinol is special. It's encapsulated. It means that the active ingredient, the active retinol, is inside micro nanocapsules that you cannot see with your eyes, but it melts into your skin while you put it on. 
and it's more effective. So it's really an Evercure for anybody that needs it. Thank you so much for Thank being you, with me. Emmanuel. I'm sure so many people are gonna be obsessed with these products, so thanks, thanks for sharing. And back to you, Aaron. Now you may have heard of it, Mesa Restaurant. It's one of the most legendary and award-winning chef restaurants in Tel Aviv, and ILTV went to go check out the famed chef Aviv Moshe's gourmet cuisine. At one of the city's finest dining spots, renowned chef Aviv Moshe uses his passion and skill to create exceptional dishes. And don't expect anything else less than luxury, elegance, and fine dining. If you're looking for an exceptional culinary experience, look no further than restaurant Mesa. It's the only Israeli restaurant that made it on the traveler's hot list as the 50 most beautiful restaurants in the world. So Mesa is a chef restaurant and um, it's restaurant and bar mixed together. The part of the dinner is white and the bar is black. A lot of uh, famous people in the world eat here like Sarkozy, Tony Blair, uh, Gandiola from Barca. The restaurant center features a long high dining room table with beautifully lit candles and highly distinctive decor. But the design aesthetics in the white marble dining room don't stop with the decor, but extends to the way each dish is plated by highly regarded chef Aviv. What was your vision when opening one of Tel Aviv's most luxurious and elegant restaurants? I tell you, uh, before we opened Mesa, uh, all the restaurants was just a restaurant. You come to the dinner, you finish and you go. But I, in my vision, I want to mix it with um, fun, with a bar, uh, good food, and uh, in one ticket and one place, you feel all the, um, the vibe. His inspiration derived from no other place than his very own mother's kitchen. I mix it and I make an interpretation for you know the, my mom cuisine and um, street food cuisine in the. Um, okay in the plate. I was bad, bad, bad boy. Bad boy? And just when I get into the kitchen, something in my body, in my head, I start to relax. Wow, And I fall in love. This bad boy not only designed the menu at Mesa, but is part of a group which runs two other exceptional restaurants around Tel Aviv, each with its own unique style. Well, now it's off to the kitchen where Chef Aviv shows us how it's done. This is one of the most uh, favorite dish in Mesa. It's called baklava, baklava, uh, beef baklava. It's come with um, a coconut cream, a sweet batata, tahina, and uh, that. And uh, it's like um, the taste is like uh, Arabic uh, candy, but with their interpretation, we make it for the first course. Okay. Tahina and date honey is drizzled on top to add a sweet note, which complements the savory beef filling. Okay, so now we go to the second dish. This dish is called uh, sashimi of shakshuka. Shakshuka is very traditional uh, Mediterranean uh, dish. It starts when I, in my home, start to cut the, um, and prepare the product for make shakshuka. And then I stop and say, I don't want to cook it. I want to uh, mix it with uh, some uh, raw fish like, uh, like the tuna and make interpretation of myself. So we start with tomato and then we put garlic and the hot pepper, a little bit of uh, lemon. We salt it. Coriander. And olive oil. This is the first, first step. The traditional shakshuka dish is made with tomato sauce, eggs, and spices, and is eaten with bread. But there is nothing traditional about Aviv's menu. Now we have the fresh tuna. We have dry lemon that we squeeze it and uh, mix it uh, with a little bit uh, spicy, hot spicy. We have the eggs, we cook it just only six minutes because we want it very soft here, the yellow. Mesa has been Tel Aviv's favorite spot for over a decade and I think by now we can understand why. It looks like 
looks like the presentation is very important to you. Would you say it's on the same level as the, as the quality of the food? Yeah, of course. Uh, first, the place looks good, so we must the dish that looks good. And after we uh, work very, very hard for the dish. In the kitchen, we must presentation the like it's amazing. Of course, the presentation is very, very uh, important, but the testing needs to be, you know, in the top. It sounds like you make your recipes as you go along, like as you said with the shakshuka. Half of the menu it's like an uh, interpretation for traditional um, dish and um, I mix it with um, my way. Alright, so now for the best part we're going to try this delicious food. And you tell me if it's... Um, of course, I absolutely like. love fish, raw fish, seared fish, anything. But you say you need to eat mm. with the egg, mm. with everything. You need to mix it. We'll try to get all the flavors in one bite, mix it all up. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you. You did an amazing job. Thank you. The colors, the textures, the flavors. It's like a party in my mouth. <laughs> Take the um, coconut. Coconut, the sweet potato. Sweet potato. Can I eat the flour too? Yeah. 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 The Vibrant Restaurant also features a bar next door, which offers the best of both worlds. After dining in the restaurant, visitors can continue their night into the bar, which offers a more urban and nightly experience. So I figured I couldn't leave without trying one of their signature cocktails. We make you cocktail name is Apple Twist Martini Mesa Style. And uh, we start to do this. We take ice, apple schnapps, blackberry vodka, passion fruit, sour, apple juice, lime juice, Enjoy. Cheers. And that's all for today's Good Week Israel. I hope that we've helped you start the week off with a smile. I'm Aaron Forrest. See you next week.